and welcome once again to another episode of Stu Him Productions presents J and M Solve the World. I am James, and I am Matt. And as you can see, we have a very large collective of characters. This is our our biggest biggest yet. One, two, three. Edit. No. No, I guess no. that's right. No. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but Close. we have. But we're on the road. Yes, that is correct. We are on location still. Metallica just got off stage <sighs> a little bit ago for huh? the second night. What? Metallica just huh? got off stage. Oh, yes. my ears yeah. fucked up. No. <laughs> Can someone answer the phone, please? Yeah. <laughs> no shit. I've been hearing crickets. <laughs> <laughs> now everybody's hearing crickets. Well, just you and me. Yeah. They don't have headphones. So we have Andy. We have Cody. Cody. We have Iran. We have D. White and a friend of mine from high school. I haven't seen her in over years <laughs> because you never give out a woman's age. Right. Miss Jonna Von Baron. <laughs> All right, so uh, we apparently we were not meant to see the opening acts. No, the the opening opening. Friday I, night I, I, we I, missed. I, I regret missing Mammoth. Yes, yes absolutely. Uh, that would have been. I totally agree with that one. Yeah. Um. Uh, we will see them at some time. Yes, I'm sure. We'll we will make a, a point. As far as Ice Nine Kills go, yeah. uh, I I've heard some of their music. I'm just yeah. not a big fanatic. When we when we bought the when we first decided to go to this show, mm -hmm. I'm like Ice Nine Kills. Who's this? So I ended up going on my Amazon Music. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, album, cool, play. Eh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I. From what I, I talked to a guy earlier who was walking by, him and his son, mm -hmm. and he said that they put on a big theatric stage show. Uh, and, I, and I said, oh, so for us old guys, it'd be like Alice Cooper or something like that. And he goes, yeah. Or maybe Marilyn Manson or something. Right, right. King Diamond. King Diamond. Uh, King Diamond's not that. I mean, he's got the theatrics, but it's not like on the grand scale of Alice Cooper or... Right. I wasn't trying to take nothing from him, but yeah. Kid. But but it, but it's a but it's a stage show. Yeah. Well, then kind of like I was telling you about in this moment, they they do more of a you know she's got the blood girls and yeah 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 but <coughs> she's like a twelve out of ten so it's fine. Well yeah no and I like her music so yeah but we're not reviewing that. <laughs> but before we proceed, gentlemen and, and ladies, if, if nobody minds, can we give a shout out to my lovely. Beautiful wife, who I miss dearly, and you know, been cool if she was here, but she's not. But um, right. I'm having a great time. But uh, love you, baby. Miss you. Shut up, Cam. Hi, Cam. You're gonna love the 2024 calendar. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just gonna throw that out there. Just throw it out there. Um, now, uh, not to talk about Friday night because we've already, we've already done that. We've done that. Oh, fuck yeah. Uh, this is the first time I would saw Five Finger Death Punch. Really? And the, I'm still trying to figure out the two keyboard players that were on there because it was more like a Seven Finger Death Punch. And I, I, I don't know what that was about. I, I, yeah. I see them it look like they were yeah. doing a, singing a lot of backups. Yeah, yeah. you've seen, you seen them more recently than I have, I think. They, I didn't have, they didn't have no. that when I seen them. No. Yeah, no, no, it was... No. I seen them in 2019. Of course, you got different guitar player now. Yeah, Jason Hook left. Jason Hook left. Uh, but did Jeremy get, um, Jeremy's back Spencer. though. Isn't he? No, no, no. Jeremy Spencer, the the original drummer, he left. He wrote a great his, book about everything though. Yeah, yeah. His back was. We we we. Jacked. I mean, we thought if we're setting up an arena and this guy gets a ticket for the floor and. <laughs> Fucking Ivan keeps going. Come on, Andy. Yeah. We're like going. Fuck. He's pointing out Andy. 
But apparently I, that was yeah. a guitar player. Yeah. You know, I, I found Andy easier on the floor tonight from did you did, dude. Did and you did it after the show, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And <laughs> Andy no, no, had... Note to self, we got to tag Andy with a little beeper thing so yeah. we can find him. Andy had just saw the... Uh, no other way, brother. You know exactly. That. Andy had just saw the Facebook post that I that I did when I recorded him as he was walking around on the floor. <laughs> did you? And uh, I put on there, does anybody know this guy? And I tagged him in it along with you and you. Mm -hmm. And uh, one of my oldest friends, uh, somebody we went to high school with, Aaron, he's like, yeah, I know that guy. He lives down the street from me. (laughs) See, uh, yeah. Yeah. It's like, where's Waldo? There he is. Yeah, yeah. Um, But as far as Five Fingers sound goes, I thought it was... I, I, I thought it was good. Mm-hmm. Um, Ivan's vocals kind of let me down. Uh, he was there. He did a lot of the. He was expecting the crowd to yeah. do a lot more than normal, right? Uh, or you would expect. Uh, the music was great. Uh, my big question. You have beard envy. Oh my god, <laughs> Chris Kale is like beard goals. Right. Uh, now I'm not shaving my head like him, but he almost looks like the guy. And uh, uh, if he is not cast in the next fucking uh, Pirates of the Caribbean that's movie, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a wasted fucking opportunity. Right. Chris Kale and Zoltan, uh, Zoltan. Zoltan. Uh, I mean, they're pirates. Mm-hmm. I mean, Zoltan's fucking Ukrainian, for God's sakes. Right. And he's got dreads that. Not quite Brian Fair from Shadows Fall length, which goes like down to the fucking floor now. Right. But yeah. And it's like those guys are definitely fucking pirates. But as far as as far as what he did sing though, yeah. Oh I thought no, that it, was a quality, but yeah. yeah, I think you're right. He, there was a lot of like what was up with the background guy. Well, uh, well the, 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 the part was, you know, he was like, what did you put? You know, let yeah. the, fa- the fans sing along. And you I mean, know, which and I get it. The they, we were singing along anyway, so yeah. it was like, hey. yeah. It was L- like, lift me up. One of the guys was singing the the yeah. Rob Halford right. portion to it. Right. Um, but one thing with seeing him up on those screens really brought to mind is how is he going to transition to country music <laughs> with a <laughs> fucking hand tattooed on his head? Have you seen? You've seen the. Sorry, what? Yeah, Ivan Movie is supposed to be transitioning to country music. Supposedly, well, from what I've heard was there's going to be one more Death Punch album. Yeah. And then he's going to country. Yep. He's going to tip that cowboy hat way forward. Well, but see, that's the thing. But, is have, but have you watched CMAs lately? Yeah. No, I have not. But I, yeah. I, we used to because, I mean, Carrie Underwood. <laughs> well... Uh, now I've seen Brad Paisley, but the acts that were on there it was yeah. like I, I'm sitting there. It's like if you turn the volume off, yeah, it looks like a metal show from the '80s. Now, right? Now, have you seen Carrie Underwood do "Welcome to the Jungle"? Yes, yeah. and she does the whole fucking. Well, whole I've, al- I've also seen her Fantastic. do. I've also seen her do um, "Mama, mm-hmm. I'm Coming Home." Yes. Have you seen that one? Uh, now I don't think I've seen Carrie that one. Underwood oh. is a huge metal head. She with some thighs. she did oh. well. <laughs> she did a thing on Ozzy's Boneyard on right. uh, Series XM, <laughs> to where she's. Uh, it was like a an evening in the round, right? And she did "Mom, I'm Coming Home," "Home Sweet Home," "Welcome to the Jungle," songs that she loves to play live. I said, and I saw her. I said, I said an interview with her, and they were talking yeah. about that, and I said. Um, so, do you just play these songs, or do you get permission? She goes, oh, no. I contact everybody that has anything to do with the song that I want to cover. Yeah. And she goes, we'll be done. Mama, I'm coming home. She goes, I contacted Sharon Osborne. It's like, I'm, I'm thinking about doing this show live, or doing this song live. And she says, Sharon was such a sweetheart. She's like, girl, you just do whatever you want to do. <laughs> you <know>? Nice. Zach <laughs> Brown said. 
metal head too. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. That's uh, why they, that's why they play fucking. Inner Sandman. Inner Sandman life. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, I mean, shit, they had that song with Chris Cornell. Yeah. And when they played on Saturday Night Live, they did, I think the first song they did was like uh, Toes. Mm. You know, I got my toes in the water, ass in the sink. But right. then the second song was the one with Chris Cornell, and he actually came out and was singing on it. And it's like, whoa. Fucking Chris Cornell's in New York and nobody knew. So. I think we need to get the microphone over here to these young guys because their cherry has been popped. They've never been to a fucking... You've never been to a concert until Friday night. You've never been to a metal concert until Friday night. That is true. No, no, hang on. I, I got to preface this real quick. Uh, yes, their concert cherries were yes, popped. Yes, concert cherries. That's what I'm saying. Neither one of these guys are choir boys neither one of them are catholic so yeah they, they, they heard that with us <laughs> last night over at the freak show you know hey, hey, I, was, hey. I was absolutely blasted off my ass last night i threw his ass in the bathroom while he was <laughs> crashed, i mean and, and that's a man and went to bed and that what that's not a figure of speech no no <laughs> i'm i'm laying in bed because my back is spasming my shoulders hurting and all i hear is like i, I, I don't want Come on, damn it. I mean, it was like just all of a sudden just boom. Well, it was a good thing you guys switched off nights. Yeah. No shit. Friday night. Because <laughs> you were torn up from the ground up Friday night. He done it Saturday night. So many pop tarts, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. totally. Well, no, no. Erron is of age. He is, he is 21. We're all of age. We're all of a age. Uh, yeah, hey, Rocket, you want to you want to use the eye that's away from the camera. <laughs> and if uh, you didn't get that reference, um, fuck you. Uh, I'm for all the hell you put me through. Oh, wait. No, uh, yeah, I'm a comic book nerd, and I love comic book movies. Anyways. Um, you know, but Five Finger, I thought, you know, it sounded pretty good. I would have loved to have seen them on, like, a regular stage. Right. Um, you know, and I may get a chance. Well, I've seen them in Camden, Missouri. Yeah. Who's the guitar player we talked about just left? Zoltan. Oh, Jason Hook. Jason Hook. <coughs> he had a pedestal. Yeah. That he was standing on that rose up, like, 50 foot above the stage. Uh-huh. And I can't remember what song it was, but it was during the solo. It was like, Jesus right. Christ, that's like, don't, don't step one way wrong, dude. Right. <laughs> you know, and, you know they, they are, I, I didn't get to see that, but they always do something cool, I think, with Bad Company, because oh, yeah. um, you had your story with the flag, and, mm-hmm. and when I saw them in Orlando, it was, it was, uh, oh, um, <laughs> it was a, an American flag and a Marine Corps flag, and yeah. they brought this, this vet up in a wheelchair, Right. Bro, they lit the crowd lifted him up and put him on the fucking stage. Right. And after the song, they rolled him back to stage whatever the fuck, but let him watch yeah. the rest of the show. And yeah. that's, and that and like, that's, that's and they've thing. always they've always been good to the vets. That's yeah. And that and then also when they're headlining, he brings kids up on stage. Yeah. 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 You know? More than just the, the one kid. Right. Yeah. He brings up oh, yeah. kids yes. up on stage. Yes. And he's like, Are you sure you're able to your parents are okay with you hearing this, you yeah, know? Yeah. And, but yeah, it's it, it's a cool deal. Oh yeah, I mean, um, and they've been on USO tours several oh, yeah. times, and um, you know, it's it's great to see acts like that actually giving back to the veteran community. All oh, right, yeah. and their their song "Wrong Side of Heaven, Right Side of Hell." That is very a very fucking heavy video, if, and he if talks about. You watch that video and you don't have a tear. At it talk at least you one. Know. Yeah, you don't have a fucking soul. Something's yeah, wrong with your ass. Um, and it's I mean it because it's the song isn't about veteran suicide, no. but the message in the video talks about veteran suicide. The part the part that gets me is when they're arresting the dude. Yeah, and they pull his arm back. He's got the same 
special forces tattoo yeah. that the cop has. Right. And he turns him around and he talks to him. Mm-hmm. Like, hey, you know. Yeah. Let me get, get you some, you some help. help. Right. Yeah. Let's do this instead. And, um, you know, statistically, not to get off subject of the uh, Metallica concert, but to go along with what we're talking about here, statistically, 22 veterans take their lives every day. And uh, there is always somebody out there that will listen, whether they're uh, family, friends, or you dial 988 on your cell phone. Either text or call. Someone is available 24 hours a day, seven days a week. They are there for you. And before anybody, well, before any of our tens of listeners tries to attack me in the comments about, well, my family is a piece of shit. Blood of the coven is thicker than water of the womb. I am not biologically related to anybody here. Nope. But this is my familia. When we left the show tonight, we 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 had a straggler we couldn't find. But we didn't leave... No one gets and left behind. We were all together. That's right. No one gets left behind. And that was only because I came from basically the opposite We are we are all kind of out of town. So there we go. There you go. There you go. Oh, I want, and and that's only because I came out on the on the opposite side. These guys did. Right. But this man right here. Well, this guy? That guy? This guy over here. That guy over there. That guy over there. Joy Budafuku over there. Yeah. D. White. Oh, JB. From, from Florida. Florida. Hey, your sister's ass. <laughs> hey, how many times do I got to tell you? Uh, Jay has already had. Yeah. He's already been, he's been there, done that. Been there, done that. Got the t-shirt. No, he's got the paperwork that says so. The static you're giving me now ain't nothing like what I get home when I get The bears, so. paperwork, and the divorce paperwork. Yeah. <laughs> And three months. Is she still watching that shit like training no. cards? Uh, oh, damn it. Bro. I just wasted the three months, bro. Damn, bro. Uh, please, uh, carry on, Andrew. No. Hey, words, uh, hey. So what did you think of the show, Andrew? Well. Now, we're on the five-finger part. We haven't, we haven't moved on to the mighty Metallica. Okay. Or the mighty Metallica, if you, you will. Know. Yeah. Uh, I enjoyed it. Because you had a different viewpoint yeah, than I was did. moving back and forth because I was trying to... My, where'd the bass player go? I don't know why, but I, I, I was the, that big brute. And, and, uh, oh, yeah, the beard? Oh, beard. my God. Oh, good night, baby. I thought he... He got a softie. Wasn't he going to retire, uh, the bass player? No. No, Chris Kale. Uh, he's, he's so not reti- Ivan Moody, the singer, is going to do supposedly one more Five Finger album and then retire from rock and roll, metal, however you want to look at it, and go the route of Ronnie Keel and go country. Uh, okay. Gone country. What's, what's that song he does with... Um, Brantley Gilbert? Brantley Gilbert, yeah. Um, um, they did uh, Blue on Black. Yeah, and, but, I mean, but the video... On Blue on Black. Right, but... As a band, but then... They, yeah. But then Brantley Gilbert, they done the song. What's the oh, song? yeah. It's got uh, Travis uh, Tritt. Outlaw. Um, um, hang on. One moment, it, It's please. a cool fucking song. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Hold on, folks, while we go to the Grant interweb. Thing. He's looking for, at uh, uh, verification. Right. I thoroughly enjoyed Five Finger Death Punch. Suffering defecation. What'd you say? <laughs> no, 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 de- no defecation here, okay? Well, yeah. That, that, that's I in there. on this fucking couch. Don't do that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> James. Outlaws and something. James. Yeah. Outlaws and outsiders. Yeah. Okay. Yes, sir. Wouldn't have supported what we had in mind anyway. 
No. No. Uh, but yeah, I mean that that one. Podcast. That that one's pretty good. Yeah. Uh, just like Blue on Black, it's got Brantley Gilbert in it, and well, I mean, Five Figure does a cover of Blue on Black without any country. It's just well, they five had figure. right. They well, they did have Kenny Wayne Shepherd come in and do this do the solo. Oh really? But then, uh, but I seen them do it live. Yeah, I think in 2019. Right. Uh, when they did the video and they actually recorded the music for the video. Somehow, some way, they talked Brian May from Queen right. to come in and do the solo. Right. Um, and then that's when Brantley Gilbert's doing the background vocals. Mm-hmm. And I've heard, I've heard yeah. that version, too. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty good. So, we'll look it up. But, yeah. So um, anyway. Young, the, the two Utes. The two Utes over here. Okay. Just the five-finger part? Yes. This was my first time seeing them. I was yeah. pretty hyped. But Ivan did kind of let me down whenever he kept having the crowd sing. Okay. He did that a little too much. In my yeah. But other than that, it was phenomenal. Okay. I like Five Finger. I ain't, I ain't heard a whole lot of their stuff, but the stuff I've heard of like, and I keep like six to seven songs just in rotation on my playlist. So seeing this live was awesome. It was badass. Right. Again, the vocals were... A little bit of a letdown, but still, this is my first concert. So right. It was, it was I mean, the bass is making your hair go. Oh, I can feel, uh, I can yeah. feel it in my sternum, oh, man. That yeah. dude is a fucking Viking and a half. Yeah. That shit changed my heart rate. You imagine him and Zach Wild will put a band together? Oh, my God. <laughs> Viking testosterone <laughs> all over <Yeah>. the stage. <laughs> Let me go one further. Uh-oh. Zach Wild. <laughs> Chris Kale and uh, Zoltan. Zoltan. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, Zach's got the fucking kilt and the beard and the hair. Zoltan's got the dreads. Chris Kale's got the beard. And. But you got to put Brian, uh, Brian Fair. Fair. There you go. Yeah, Brian Fair yeah. from Shadows Fall. Yeah. And then. Um, or Randy Blythe. Uh, he cut his off. Did he? Yeah. I hadn't seen it. The, the pictures I saw, uh, because Lamb of God's out on tour with Pantera on their uh, headlining. Yeah. And, yeah, Randy's cut his off. Um, he, he, he probably, he, he back, probably, he? He could probably got paid a lot of money to donate it to a charity to cut it off. Yeah. Um, the drummer that was in Faith, uh, Faith No More. Oh, yeah. And then went to play with Ozzy. And right, he had right, 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 right. Yeah. yeah. Yes. And he had the, the big dreads. I mean, just. Again, another Viking-looking fucking dude, and you put all those guys together. But can they play? Yeah, <laughs> because oh, and Lord. and the thing with Brian Fair is, yeah, Shadows Fall kind of gets into that guttural, right. but he's got that fucking voice that I mean, it's just like. <laughs> See that 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 impresses me because yes. I can I can do the guttural or do a backup singing thing, but going mm. from one to the other yeah. that quick, it's like whoa. Corey oh. Taylor, I, Court, Dave Draymond. Yeah, thank you. I saw I saw yeah. Shadows Fall. Yeah, I saw Shadows Fall one mm. time. They were on tour with Lamb of God and um, Slipknot with headlining, mm. and it was like I don't know it was like mid two thousands I think, but uh. Uh, Shadows Fall, they had this, this big ass remote control truck come out with black tooth in it. And it oh, yeah. A fucking salute to God. Nice. Yeah. Very but, fucking yeah. cool. Yeah. Um, so, I think Ms. we need, Jana. I, I think we need a, a lady's perspective here. Yes. Um, let's see here. Get to her sit down and we'll put more of yeah. I loved all four tracks. Like, my favorite part was sitting next to Matt. Oh. Oh. I'm gonna. I'm getting misty hair. He's blushing. Metallica was fantastic. Wait, wait. We haven't oh, gotten to that part. Damn we're it. just. We're Can just we on five finger the death. Good part. Yeah. No. Wow. No, we can't skip to the good part. <laughs> why does? Why do women What's always want to want to skip to the good part? I don't know. I mean. One year. That's where we should always be. Should. Good part. She was sitting next to you. 
Yes. And she was sitting next to you. I was. That's true. Yes. Do you know that you took a nap? I was... I think, he I, was I, resting I, his eyes. I think I think when we, um, we went out to smoke. Yeah. I think I got to go contact high. No. <laughs> you're kidding. Because, yeah. I mean, yeah. I pulled out my phone, and I'm getting ready to shoot a, a, a picture. It, because James, like, Dwight's standing up, and he's just, uh, and James is just like. He was asleep. I was he, listening. Yeah, he was listening. But, I mean, those I eyes, those eyes, eyes were heavy. Yeah. And right when I pulled my phone up to go, like, ha ha, that's when he was like, oh. <laughs> he's looking I thought, around. I, I, I've tried to keep my head moving the whole time. Yeah. I, I want to say that. that but, they, I mean, but when you're sleeping, it goes. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, it's kind of headbanging. <laughs> yeah. Zombie style. No, I, wanna, I wanted to say that I have the, the distinct honor of, of uh, sitting next to Jonah for a few before the true studs arrived. <laughs> <laughs> what did the Chippendales show up while uh, what, James what, and I were what, gone? What because they did because damn it because we had to walk a mile back to our room to bring our knives back because we're fucking idiots. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, or we just carry them so often that they become an extension of who we are. It's a it's 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 a wonder I didn't have my pistol on me. Oh, now that would have been over like a turn in the punch bowl. That, I, I mean, honest, you know, honestly, I, I thought that's what you were like, ah. Uh, no, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't even do that when we went downtown today, and I felt naked. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, Five Finger was good. Yep. Now, on to the entree, if you will. The main event. The good part. The good part. <laughs> you see, main course. I, you know, I, I like it. I, I like the, the main course idea. Whether I'm a fat kid that's hungry that... Fat kid and ice cream. Oh, man. Pizza would have been so much better, but no. Yeah, well, everybody's anyway. got to close at fucking midnight on a Sunday night. Yeah, well, so we don't what, get a pizza so what, No. So what? Oh. No. If there's a concert going on, it's a big deal. I had a couple of bites of my Subway, though, if you want to hear that. And we got donuts. But, I mean, who wants to get a sugar high right before you decide to fucking... Yeah, get them tanked up on I calories. Yeah. You'll be fine. Yeah, alcohol's a depressant, all right. Oh, thank you, dear Dr. Aaron. <laughs> um, Thanks, I'm okay. a real Scientologist over here. You know, he, he, he looks kind of doctorish with his with his coat on and the hair and... He looks like he should know something. Yeah, I maybe. I went through high school. I don't know shit. <laughs> maybe a uh, uh, forensic investigator. There you go. Bones. Yeah. yeah. Hey, no, uh, the like, the guy from um, Criminal Minds. Uh, the yeah. one that's like really fucking cuckoo, cuckoo. I think he tried to bullshit you. Be like, sir, you're. Testicular fortitude is a little low, and the only way to save it is to let me bang your sister. <laughs> and you can trust me because I'm a doctor. I'm a doctor. <laughs> I'd just be house, but I don't have a medical degree. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, technicality of of everybody in this it's just room. A piece of paper. There's only one person that can actually put an MD after their name. This guy, because it's my fucking initials. Oh well. Any prostate exams for the room. <laughs> yes. Okay. So Metallica. So you're gonna have to take a picture of that shower and oh put my up. God. Yeah. Here. Somewhere. Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna yeah. put that picture of that shower right here. Um. And um. And I'm not gonna be in the group hug at the shower. I'll take the picture. No, man. <laughs> nope. Nope. John will take the picture. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, but well, that's no fun. I mean, what can I what can I say about Metallica that isn't already known? Uh, I mean, there there was a f- no band is ever going to live up to your expectations as far as songs that they play because what if they play Leopard Messiah? 
they were supposed to play Damage Incorporated again. Man, it's fucked up. The Giants suck. You gotta play that 72 Seasons new shit. For yeah. Fuck these motherfuckers. <laughs> if I wanted to hear some new shit, I'd just put it on my CD player. But yet, you paid a couple hundred bucks to fucking come see them. You know what, though? Like, no matter, yeah, there's o- there, yeah, there's always that, like, hey, you know, I wanted to hear this, but I think, I mean, at the end of the day, you got to walk out there satisfied and go, okay, uh, you know, because, like, over the last two nights, I've heard, I think, five or six songs I've never heard them play live before. Right. So that was exciting. Did you play maybe the one I especially wanted to hear? No, but you played some really cool shit. And right. I mean, and that's the great thing about it, you know. I'm like that. Even 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 Death Punch. There was some songs I would like to hear from them, but you know what? We heard some other fucking great songs. So fuck it. The thing I liked was I had a little hiccup with the drum kit. Oh yeah. So that lets you know that Metallica is playing their shit fucking live. Yeah. They're not tracking music. No. Nope. I mean, yeah. There's there's tracks. For those opening deals and stuff. When, when the when the kit moves. Right. Yeah. Yep. But they're playing their shit live. Yes. I mean, James, he's like ready to go into the song. And it's like, can you hear my guitar? Yeah. <laughs> right. And that was before Moth. Yeah. Because remember at the, what was it, Grammys or whatever? Mm-hmm. And... His oh. guitar, his guitar now, was not working. No, it was it was the mic because in seventeen when that we was see a, that, that was, yeah. a, that was on the tour, yeah. he goes, he goes, hey man, you remember that show where the mic wasn't working? He goes, yeah, that was funny. Yeah. He goes, not then, but now. Yeah, but he goes, the mic is gonna work for you guys, and they they went in tore it the fuck down. I mean, and he was like legitimately oh fuck. pissed the fuck when, off. When he walked off stage. He took his guitar off and threw it to his fucking tent. Yeah, now. It wasn't, it wasn't a, here you go. Yeah. It was, it, now, uh, here's something that's fucking kind of I mean, kind of weird. It's Grammys, and yeah. you play with Lady Gaga. Yeah. You, you which on, was cool. On their bullshit equipment, though. That's, I'm sure that's part of it. Well, from what I understood, from what I heard was somebody had stepped on the cable or something and unplugged his mic. Oh, somebody got fucking fired, you mean? Oh, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he, 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 he's, he's working at Wendy's now. <laughs> hey, uh, um, 14th and whatever it, fucking in L.A. Can I have a rabbit hole just for a moment? Oh, yeah. sure, please. So, um, uh, my, my, my brother and sometimes father figure guy, love you, brother. Um, <clears throat> he used to have a band, Dust to Dust, and we play local gigs, and I did some roadie work for them for a while, and there was there was one night at a, at a, at a, at a place, and uh, the, the, they take a break, and this, this drunk broad stumbles up, and he's like, yeah, hey, yeah. Right and knocks his fucking his his guitar rack over. Oh fuck! Oh, and oh. I was standing there, dude. My asshole went. <laughs> I'm just standing. There, I'm wait, like waiting for direction. Like I'm not even gonna say shit to him because like he, the steam is and guy is one of the calmest fucking people you ever meet in your life, right? And the steam's just coming off, and I'm just like, if he needs me to do something, like I'm there, but I'm not like saying shit. And the one the, the DJ guy or whatever the fuck that was in charge of stuff, right? He comes over and he goes, he goes, hey man, you know we're we're really sorry about that. The owner wants. Wants to know if you want her, uh, you know, ejected from the venue. And, and again, he's the sweetest fucking guy you'd ever want to know. And he's, he's very mellow and stuff. And this is the most rage I've ever seen, probably in any human. But he looked at the dude and he was dead serious. He goes, I want her fucking killed. <laughs> oh, like, boy. God damn. <laughs> but, yeah, he was like four guitars in the rack and she knocked them all over. And now he's like, you know, he's, he's you guys know. You guys are musicians, right? Now he's like, where the fuck is... I know a guy who knows a guy. If it, if any of them broke, that's a lot of goddamn money. Yeah. Oh, I, was, <laughs> I mean, things ain't cheap. No, and that's the thing is, for somebody to be able to get up on this stage, and because generally as a musician, if you do have extra instruments on the stage, they're always towards the back of the stage. It was a really small stage, and I, I forget the details of it, but Bro. for some reason it was. Yeah. Which no, no, no. I, maybe yeah. it was to the side of the. It might have been to the yeah. side of the stage or something, but it was like, yeah. It was, what the it, fuck? Yeah. Um. So, but I think Kirk Kirk had a problem with his guitar. Yeah, he did. Yeah. Yeah. There was a little bit of issue there. Or yeah. Something. He just 
Yeah. I think it just fucked up. And then it, it, being it was and like playing shit live and not on a fucking. That's track. what I'm saying. Yeah. They're yeah. playing live. And yeah. then shit happens live. Right. And then during Moth, like right before the big, f- the first fireball, it's like he jumps over to the kit, and then the fires. Yeah. And it's like. <laughs> yeah. You don't want you don't want to relive fucking Montreal. No, and <laughs> and it's like Friday night uh, with Metallica when they were setting off the pyro. He stayed up on that riser. Right. He did. He he right. went from like, one yeah. side of the riser to the other, and it's like uh, Kirk and Rob stayed down low, and then Lars, of course, stayed on his kit, and he's got the pyro going on both sides, and it's like James is like going. I'm not. I still feel that warmth. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm. I'm not sure. I'm not sure where the fire is, but I know where the fuck it's I ain't not. Moving. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, Magnesium's a bitch. Yeah. <laughs> Thirty-five foot magnesium flame. Uh, um, yeah, well, fuck your day up. Are we, are we? Are we moving on to the Utes over here? And then. No, the no. I mean, we. we I mean. Still, I, I. I think Metallica killed it. They. They did, um, and you know, once again, I. I liked. The graphics, mm-hmm. for one, it, it was right. it was a departure from uh, the the videos from Johnny's Got His Gun, right, right? Because that's the actual name of the movie, right? Um, and it was uh, you know, they didn't lead in with the uh, go 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 got it, got it, got it. Yeah. 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 It, it that's again one of those they little with the pyros yeah and stuff and the the lights and right everything yeah, they, they seem to be changing that kind of over the last over the last several years or whatnot where there yeah there's alterations like and again in seventeen there was you had you had that M sixty that machine mm-hmm. gun fire yeah. in the back and the and the helicopter was insane but I mean just as good tonight every alteration yeah. is good I, I I I've never been to a bad Metallica concert right. never. I, I noticed that, uh, like, some of the stuff off of Justice mm. was played a lot faster. Mm, seemed like it. Yeah, and, I, and I'll say this about Rob. Black it. Um, with the stuff that Newstead wrote, uh, King Nothing, mm-hmm. for instance, uh, of course, Jason plays with, his, with a pick, and Rob plays with his fingers, right. and it's almost like they, they pumped the bass up. Mm. Yeah, that bass guitar up. Yeah. Do, 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 do. And I was I, like, okay. I, I seen a video on Facebook or something the other day. And it was, uh, what if um, Megadeth's um, Holy Wars Punishment Do yeah. was on Injustice for All? And they played it without the bass. Yeah. And it was like. Okay, that's fucked up and different. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Because you it, don't realize how much the bass, especially on that song. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and regardless of, you know, who was playing guitar in Megadeth, not to completely get off subject, but it is a J&M solve the world. Right. Um, but regardless of who's playing what guitar part in a Megadeth song, right. Little Dave's bass always oh, yeah. fucking came through. Yep. That's all I got to say about that. Uh, Andy? Nope. nope. Andy. Andy. My turn. Yeah. Metallica. What'd you think? Uh, first time, so I'm going to back up a little bit. First time seeing Five Finger Death Punch and first time seeing Metallica. I enjoyed it. Loved it. I was standing there, you know, uh, I, I moved from side to side, you know, try to get a better view. And then they started. He was on the floor. Fucker. Yeah. Then they started sanitarium. I'm going. Yes. I d- I knew I knew that would get you when they first started oh, playing that. <laughs> yeah. Ding dong. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Huh. This night is complete. He loves that song. Oh, right. Love it. Yeah. Love no. It. Dearly love it. He I says the why. night's complete, but yet I don't see a. M72 fucking beach ball. And no, you won't yeah. either. Now, I, I, I no saw a dude. This guy's on the floor. Yeah. With all the beach balls. Yeah. Doesn't bring us one. No. 
They were throwing I mean, I almost. There. They were fighting I thought I was going to see balls. a fist fight yeah. down there over a beach ball. When, uh-huh. when, no, thank you. When we were standing across the street and we were waiting on these two, the the yins, not the utes, but the yins, to uh, join us. Right. I saw a dude walking out with a beach ball that was completely collapsed and uh, rolled up, and I damn near won. I reached my I reached my pocket and I'm like motherfuck I ain't got my knife because I would straight fucking shank a motherfucker for one of those. <laughs> There's a theory, uh, allegedly, in his head. I mean, yeah, because I, I'm not gonna commit a crime. But but you no, know, in all seriousness, the sentiment, you know, I mean, it, it's a uh, you know, I mean, you could eye gouge the motherfucker. You know, I could have. Well, you know, but he he was a little I bit mean, bigger than me too. Oh, oh, Texas. So. Yeah, he's he was a little bit bigger than me. So I mean, they were they were, they were like uh, Aaron. And, and he looked. There. They were throwing look, hands look, look, down look there over that guy. shit. Right, six foot two, two ninety eight, two ninety eight, ninety five, whatever, three hundred ish. Yeah, Close. and he couldn't get us a beach ball. I well, okay. In his defense, there was I, a lot of people around. Oh wait, he's old, like we are. Oh, if I'd have been on the floor thirty years ago, I'd have had a beach ball. <laughs> I'm just saying. You know, just saying. Um, what else you got, Andrew? What else? What else would you like to tell us about Metallica? That you enjoyed about this show. Now, uh, James had he had played uh, a couple of them new uh, songs off the seventy two seasons. Seventy two seasons. Yeah. It's like okay, well, I like them. Not bad. Uh, had you checked that out before? The seventy two the seventy two seasons album. Had you checked it out before we came tonight? Well, uh, uh, that that day at the. Uh, that day, at, I'm sorry, not day, night at your house when you pull oh, it, yeah, put, pull right, it on yeah. your phone. Right, right. They're like, okay, I'm, I can get into them. Lux Turner. But whenever, but like I said, I don't know, I'm sorry, but when, whenever he, whenever he started sanitarium, it's like, oh boy, I like this. We were on the same Daddy page there. Like, Daddy, uh, Daddy really. <laughs> likes. Um, yeah. Love the show. Yeah. I just wish I could have had my shit together and been able to go f- there Friday night. Go Friday night. Yeah. Because I would like to see that, you know, that. Pantera. What is that, a tribute? For the fans, for the brothers, for, for the legacy. Now, is that going to be an ongoing thing nope. or is that just. Well. A, uh, I know they're doing a Comedy. headlining tour, One time and deal. I don't know if Pantera is going to Europe with them because uh, Detroit is the last date uh, this year, and then they've got dates next year. I've seen rumors of new music. No, Phil and Rex they both have said no. Uh, Rita has said no. If there's any new Pantera music. It's they would they they would end up using stuff that Diamond yeah. Vinny has recorded that she has on tape from the Chase and Jason Studios behind Dime's house. So uh, what I heard was right. There's a chance of yes. new music, but there's I also mean, I mean the fucking Beatles are coming out with a new deal because of AI and shit. Yeah, but there's also a a second Damage Plan record. That's been recorded and produced. Really, uh, Vinny didn't put it out because he didn't think it was time, and then he joined. Hell yeah! Hell yeah. And he he wasn't forgetting his brother, but he was trying to leave because it was too emotional for him. Mm-hmm. But Rita said that that album is mixed, produced, really? it's ready to go. Nice. Yeah, and with her being the obviously the executor of Dimes Estate and now majority stakeholder of Vinny's Estate. Mm-hmm. I could see it coming out, but they're still trying to iron out that whole Dean guitar debacle. 
But I digress. Good man. To the Utes. To the Utes. To the Utes. So, I'm not going to lie. I had more fun Friday night with Metallica. But, even though there was this asshole just standing up in front of me, the majority of it, it was still pretty cool. Oh, was that Dwight? No. Oh. No. Well, was Dwight was fucking, he was going hard, dude. Yeah. He's life of the party. But, no, it was, it was cool as fuck. I, uh, I'm not as into them as the rest of you, so I don't know the names of all the songs. Right, right. I don't well, I knew well, the well, we, 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 we've been listening for 40 years, yeah. <laughs> you know, so. I just, I knew the words to some. Mm-hmm. I'm like, okay, this is cool shit. Yeah. But overall, I enjoyed it. Nice. I would do it again. I had a hell of a time. So, a couple things. Every time the screens, like the drone, would cam over at Lars, uh-huh. he was having the time of his life. And I was just, I watched him, just brought a massive smile on my face. That dude was <laughs> so happy. Yeah, him. Oh, yeah. And then when, uh, you know, the footage for the intro to one started playing, and then as soon as that opening, those few opening notes or chords start going doo, out, doo, doo, doo. the whole crowd just goes wild. <laughs> yeah. It was awesome. I mean, it was like a straight... I don't know. I don't know how many people they allowed it. I know back in the Rams football days, I think it was like forty three thousand. Oh my god! Was capacity? Capacity. Yeah. But you got to figure, it, and that might that, that might, might be fire marshal. Yeah. I mean, and maybe they're no more allowed than that because I noticed some empty seats up high. Yeah. But the floor, and everything was full. So I'm gonna say it was forty. Thousand plus, yeah. So yeah, when that when that fucking deal hit and everybody's like, yeah. And then of course they end the end the show with Enter Sandman. The whole crowd, every single right. person in that crowd is singing. Right. You know, I noticed because um, I took a, cu- a little bit of video of uh, Five Finger, mm-hmm. and I noticed the floor was a lot more empty. Right. Then well, it was were, Friday people, night. People for were Pantera. Well, yeah, it was fucking Pantera. Right. Um, you know, because that whole road that was there Friday night behind us, they weren't there. They weren't there. The guy in the kilt that sat next to me, yeah, wasn't there. Yeah. Well, and I and, and I talked to him and I said, "You gonna be here?" Oh yeah, we're gonna be here Sunday night. He might have been there, but he wasn't set what where we were at. And, no, and, and in my humble opinion, I th- I think we got to give a little extra credit to Pantera because um, when when me and Vince, love you brother, um, did Rockville in twenty one, um, we were debating that you know like how busy is Daytona going to be on a Sunday night, mm. just as or if not more than the Friday night that we went. Right. So, I mean, you ain't lying. That's that's the, the primary reason, really. Yeah. All due respect to Metallica. Yeah. But that's know. why that's why we got together for the show because it's like yeah. Pantera reunion, whatever they're yeah. fucking calling it. No, we're, we're going. going. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So uh, I will digress here and go to the next question. Ms. Von Baron, what did you think of Metallica? I thought they rocked. Yes. And I can't wait for you to take me to see another concert. Ooh. There's one in 2024, mm. Chicago. Right. And or Minneapolis. Well, see, if if I have a chance to go to the August show in Minneapolis. Um, the Metallica? Yeah. Uh, the, the number shirt. one person. Mm. It was on the shirt. Yeah. Oh. The, the number one person. My daughter. Uh, I will take my course. daughter to go see Metallica and Pantera. She's take her too. I mean, it also depends on, you know, I mean, it's uh <laughs> You can take her. That's okay. I understand. Oh, yeah. Did you, did you hit the like disappointment? Yes, I, I did. I did. Yeah. I did. He just. Yeah. 
close. Stop to bullshitting. He just like said, "No, I'm not going to take you to the concert. I'm going to take somebody else." It just happens I, I, to I be my daughter. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't, I don't believe him. And if I know him, he but that's won't. okay. That's okay. I've been denied by better. Ooh. Oh, oh, shit. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> man down, man down. Uh, we have the intro to that uh, Van Halen song. Well, on that <laughs> note, uh, <laughs> no, uh, so 100%, um, I mean, they've got Detroit next weekend, and, uh, you know, they're – the bands are firing on all eight cylinders. Um, you know, whether... Even 12. Might be a Ferrari. No. I mean, I mean, it, it, it's pretty obvious that Pantera is a supercharged, turbocharged four-cylinder. Because there's only four of them. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, like seven but, finger death punch, but, but yes, they, but, they, but they perform like a fucking big block V eight. I mean, shit. I mean, <laughs> no supercharged twin turbos. I'm I'm gonna say Whoa. Pantera performed like the, a fucking the, NASCAR. The blower from fucking um, Road Warrior. Oh, <laughs> Lone Wolf McQuaid. I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah, uh, but I mean, where, I, where he came out of the fucking yeah, ground. yeah, yeah. I'm gonna have to say that uh, Pantera performed like a fucking NASCAR. Yeah, I mean they were redlining the whole time, and they were a- still able to go. Metallica was a fucking uh, a Train? NASCAR. You know the whole time they they, they they were they were the front runners. They were both at Daytona. Yes, side by side, yes. 200 miles an hour coming to the start finish line. Right. Shout out Kevin Harvick for your 2007 Daytona 500 win. There you go. Um, That's what you just described, basically. Yeah. <laughs> oh, when he passed Mark Martin right at the end. That's like nobody going. wants to be Mark Martin, but fuck it, it's a Daytona 500. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Which I've never understood why the biggest race of the year is the first race of the year. Another podcast. It's a Super Bowl. There you go. Another podcast. J and M salt racing. No, no, no. J and M is not we, solving racing. We're not solving racing. We talk about it, but we ain't solving. Are shit. you kidding? Uh, Dale Junior does a great job on the Dirty Mo Media. Yep. Um, but uh, you know, yeah, Five Finger was for somehow a seven cylinder. <laughs> I thought Five Finger was good. Like I say. Done a little bit too yeah. much audience participation, vocals, but yeah, every, I mean, fucking bass and the guitars just fucking um, kicked your fucking ass. The the new guitar player, uh, I believe his name was Andy. I think so. Uh, I he thought that or he was talking about this guy. Yeah, uh, he played he played he played Jason Hook's solos like pretty spot on, yeah. and it yeah. was great. Yeah. Um, and I realized that Zoltan is a lot like Scott Ian. Anthrax is Scott Ian's band. Mm-hmm. Scott Ian started that band. He writes majority of the music. Uh, that's his band. Right. Zoltan writes a lot of the music. Oh, yeah, and I'm sorry. Scott plays rhythm guitar. Right. Zoltan plays rhythm guitar. Mm-hmm. He writes a lot of the music. That's his band. He's the one that has the five finger death punch monster truck, right? So, all in all, it's been a hell of a weekend. Yes, uh, we're not even going to go into what happened last night. No, <laughs> that, that'll <laughs> be we, an after that, dark. That'll be an after dark. Well, we 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 got some pictures and videos we'll have to put up on the well. After I mean, dark screen. when. When I uh, when I edit an yeah. after dark, yeah. yeah, I mean you know got got some pretty decent photos of uh, Cody. Yeah, thank you. I would I would expect nothing less than <laughs> that picture on that video. Oh, I mean it's 
<clears throat> Hell, it may pop up right now. Works for me, bro. <laughs> Make sure you get this guy in there, too. Well, see. And to I be fair, my photo wasn't nearly as funny. I, I don't have any compromising photos of Iran. Yeah, we do. No, no, I don't. Oh, well, I do. Oh, well, okay. well I, I we'll need to have those. Yeah, okay. Um, <laughs> but anyways. He was, he was praying to the porcelain god. Oh, I missed that one. So, thumbs up, thumbs down for this whole weekend. The double shot Metallica weekend in St. Louis. Thumbs up. Double thumbs up. Uh, and on that note, you have just watched another episode of Stu Him Productions presents J and M Solve the World. I have been James, and I have been Matt. And on behalf of Andrew and Cody Thank and you. Euron and D White from Florida and Jonna, you keep one fist in the gold, one foot in the gutter, and we will be seeing take, you. Take us out with some pesci. Pesci. Yeah, let's hear some Pesci. Take, take, take yourself with some Pesci. Oh, now all of a sudden he's got stage fright. He's got stage fright. What's yeah, so. Yeah.